Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and here we have the Lexus RX 450H on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the vehicle and then we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls on the inside. From the outside of it you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can either do that from the button on the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll then see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space. You can increase this space by folding down the seats should you wish to. We've also got this vinyl boot liner and these dividers that you can see just here. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through some of the controls from there. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, you can see the alloy wheels are all in fantastic condition, as is the bodywork the whole way around the car. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get this lovely color combination uh, with seat and dashboard, as you can see. Uh, we'll hop in and run through the controls now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials, first of all. On the far left-hand side, we have the coolant temperature gauge. Uh, we then have the gauge that will show you whether the batteries are charging for the hybrid element of this vehicle, whether you're driving in eco mode or using the power for the car. Uh, you can tell the vehicle is technically running because uh, on the left hand side here we have ready to let you know that it's on and at the moment it's in electric vehicle mode which you can see just there. On the right hand side we have the fuel gauge and the speedometer. In the middle the main trip computer which includes the total miles for this car they are 28,405. Above that it will show you what gear we're in. It's an automatic of course uh, and we are in park currently. If we back out to the steering wheel next we have our stereo and phone controls, lane departure warning system, uh, we have cruise control to the right hand side just here as well and then over into the center the main screen for the car the controls for the screen are just here so as you move this around uh, you can move around on the screen uh, you have various physical buttons as well including an enter button just here so if your hand is sitting here you can enter with your thumb and use your finger to control this uh, very easy to do as i say you can just sort of slide your way around the various menus uh, push the button down you can see there we've got satellite uh, navigation for example you can access all of your audio options uh, for the vehicle so dab am fm radio for example we've got a full color reversing camera as well uh, below that section is where you will find your main volume for the stereo, your CD player, as you can see, and a few physical buttons so you can access radio and media directly from here. So by media, I mean listening to your own music, i.e. the CD player, uh, Bluetooth audio, for example. Uh, and then below that, you have your dual zone climate control. You can adjust uh, your driver temperature, the passenger temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed and all adjustments will show along the top of the screen as you make them. Uh, when you are happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning on and off. You can just hit auto if you would prefer. The car will now take full control of everything to maintain those two temperatures for you. Any manual adjustment will instantly override auto as you can see. We have a 12 volt charging socket just here. Uh, underneath that, uh, some storage at the back here. We have our electronic handbrake with auto hold function. And if we move the gear lever out of the way, not only do we have heated driver and passenger seats, so driver seat, passenger seat, we've also got cooled seats as well, uh, which if you've not had these before, uh, they are fantastic, particularly in the summer months, of course. They really do a fantastic job of keeping you cool. And you can, as you saw when I first hit the button, let the car determine uh, the amount of uh, cooling or heating you are getting uh, but you can override that as you saw me do just there we have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox the controls we went through just a moment ago and then over here we have the ability to put the car in eco normal or sport we can also turn off the traction control and if there's enough charge force the vehicle into electric vehicle mode as well the last thing i wanted to show you is the panoramic glass roof uh, so firstly there's a button that will open the sun blind uh, you can leave it like this and as you can see that lets in a lot of extra light to the cabin area but if you wish to in this car the front section is also a sliding and tilting sunroof as well 
last thing I wanted to run through is the paperwork we hold for the car. So firstly, you can see the V5 registration document there that shows that this is a one owner car from you. Uh, the key you're looking at there is the spare key for this vehicle. So we have two keys in total and lots of service history underneath there as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, uh, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.